Hello guys, welcome back to Razor Art and Tech Production. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can run ISO files on your Chromebooks. So I already know I made videos on how to do this. I just wanted to make a video that's mainly focusing on how to run those ISO files because usually when I make a video, I usually use like some type of Linux ISO. So today I'm just going to show you guys how to download the ISO files. And if you already know how to do this, good for you. I'm doing this for the people who don't know how to uh, run ISO files. So let's go ahead and get started. So today I won't have the system requirements for you guys, but I will tell you guys what you guys need. So you will need around four to five gigabytes of space, not Linux space. You don't need Linux for this video. And you will also need developers mode. So just make sure you have that. After this, I will make a video on how to get developers mode. So just make sure you have developers mode and let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and download a ISO. So this is just a a file I just turned into a IS, uh, ISO file. This was really like an XC file that I was um I just had inside of my files. So I just changed it. Just make sure you have this. And before we even start, just make sure you change that. ISO file to instead of dot ISO is dot bin, no capitals. Once you do that, it'll change the bin file. Then what you need to do is you need to go to Chromebook Recovery Utility. I will also put a link to that in the description so you guys can download that. It's in the Chrome Web Store, so just make sure you do that. And when you go in here, you just need to go to use local image. Now, if you have a micro USB that you just like that has already ISO files on there or just a uh, operating system on there, then you can go ahead and erase the recovery meeting. And that's also one I forgot to tell you guys, you do need a flash drive or SD card. So you just press use local image and you should see the dot bin file in there. There you go. Go ahead and use that. Oh, I'm surprised it even worked for me. Then you see I have my 62.5 gigabyte flash drive. Or a card that it's a card reader, it's an SD card inside of a card reader. So you just press that and you press continue. Then once that gets done downloading, you just go at uh you you should see a screen like this. Once that's done, you pretty much have downloaded or flashed the ISO onto the S the SD card of flash job. So then once you do that, you just go ahead and go to this. All you gotta do is press control alt T now. That this is the reason why I'm telling you guys you need developers mode because you don't have this, you will not be able to put it in shell and put in all of these commands because it just won't work for you. So, you even if you don't have developers mode, it's you'll still be able to go into crash, but you won't be able to do anything. So, once you get into crash by using control alt T, then you just go ahead and put in shell. And so, you'll get into your local host and you just put in this command. I will put a tutorial in the, in the description for you guys. But I'm not going to be using it because I already know how to do this. And so you just put in this utility script. And I have discussed this in some of my uh, older videos. But I'm just going to show you guys now. So yeah, getting device system info. And once you do that, it should go ahead and show you a screen like it's coming up in a minute. There you go, like this. So you need to make sure that you uh, have the install or update RW legacy firmware. So in this um, video, you do not need write protection. And I might make a video on how to disable write protection, but it is pretty complicated. So you got to do a lot of unscrewing. So now you just press one. When you see that, if in always boot from internal storage unless selected from boot menu, I'm pretty sure I messed, it, messed this up in one of my last videos. So and you guys will also see if and always boot from internal storage unless selected from boot menu. And I'm pretty sure in one of my last videos, I actually give you guys the wrong command. This time, you just put in N. Or not N. You're supposed to put in Y. Because if it's N, you always boot from your internal storage. And you don't want to do that. So you just press that. And it'll download it for you guys. I already have it. But I'm going to go ahead and download so I don't mess up anything. So once that gets done... We, I'm going to go ahead and leave it for you guys. So, like I do in all of my other videos where uh, I try to download operating systems on my computer, I'm just going to go ahead and just give you guys a whole bunch of pictures on what it's supposed to look like. So, then once you have successfully downloaded the utility script and you have flashed the ISO to your flash drive or SD card, 
then you need to press escape, refresh, and power. If you don't do that, then you're not going to be able to use the ISO file. So you just press escape, refresh, power, and you also can't get to that, uh, the, that screen if you don't have developer's mode. So once you press escape, refresh, power, you should see a screen like this. So after you see a screen like that, then all you need to do is just press control L. But if you see a screen that says this, Chrome OS is damaged and you need to recover your Chromebook, then you just press the power button. Your Chrome OS is not messed up. It's just, I don't, I don't get why it says that. And also, if you already have your um, your flash SD card or flash drive in the computer already, it might say this screen that the uh, flash or SD card does not have Chrome OS in it. Just press power on that too. So then once you get back on that screen, I said it's supposed to say, you just press control L and a screen like this should come up. Then you just press escape in two. Now it might be different for you guys depending on um, what type of Chromebook you have. So you might want to just see which one set, uh, is, says either the name of your SD card or just the one that does not say internal storage. So once you do that, you just press escape in two and whatever Linux you downloaded then uh, or flash on your SD card or flash drive, it should come up. Now I do, I have tested a few of them like Linux FX and Ubuntu desktop. On Ubuntu desktop, I remember that one. The screen um, should come up and it should say press enter or something. Uh, just press enter and then it'll bring up a screen that says enter the boot, uh, press enter the boot. Just go ahead and press enter and the screen should come up. And I do have a new Linux that I want to show you guys, but I will be in the next video. So don't worry about that right now, but I, uh, you, might, you guys might like it. It is a copy of Mac OS. So it's not as much as a copy as Linux FX and Windows 10, but it looks kind of like Mac OS. So I have a few videos I will be making tomorrow. I will be making a video and the day after that, I will be making a video. So I will be making videos. I ain't gonna say every day. This is the only week I'm gonna do that. And I also do wanna tell you guys that the first people to comment on my video, that's three people, they can give me some video ideas and I will do whatever you want me to do. Now, here's a, the exception. It cannot be any type of like reaction videos or anything like that. It has to be something that has something to do with tech or technology. So like if you got something to play that PC building simulator game again, I will do that. Or if you guys know any type of uh, PC games that you guys want me to do, uh, play, but I am on a Chromebook, so I'm not gonna be able to play much, but I will try. So any the first three people to comment, they will be um, giving me some video ideas. And all you have to do is just tell me what um, game or what type of video you want to make. If you have any problems with something, then you can do that. And I haven't been giving out people shout outs because nobody has really told me um, that they subscribed and liked. So remember, guys, like I just said, just follow these steps, subscribe, like, and, and give me a comment that you did all of those steps. So that's pretty much it. I'm done. And I will be making a video tomorrow, so be ready for that. Turn on the notifications because I make videos like this all the time. And remember, if you already know how to download ISO files on here, then this video is not for you. This is for the people that don't know how to download ISO files or flash ISO, ISO files to your SD card or flash drive. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, like. Remember, guys, we're at 30 subscribers right now. I'm trying to get to the 50 subscribers, and then we're going to get to 100 subscribers. So, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll see you later. I'll, I'll make a video tomorrow and see you later.